Thousands are also still waiting for their power to come back on, especially here in Palm Beach County. That means traffic lights are without power as well, resulting in a lot of impatient drivers. The Dow's Alana Quillen is live on Belvedere Road in West Palm Beach to explain. Alana? Well, actually, I'm here at the intersection on Military Trail, where just moments ago, after days of being out, these traffic lights have barely come on. And that is good news because about an hour ago, there was actually a traffic accident here over the confusion. In fact, you can still see the bumpers sitting there on the side of the road. Now, Florida law requires that you treat traffic lights that are out like you would a stop sign, but there's lots of drivers who are not following that rule. For Angela Rivero, Hurricane Irma has been enough trouble. I drove six hours. To, to, get get, to get to Orlando, and it was awful. And now that she's back home... People are rude. I mean, under the circumstances we are right now, I think we should be able to take care of each other, especially on the road. With traffic lights out due to power outages, police say major intersections have turned into a free-for-all. Oh, boy, it's a, lot, it's a lot of mayhem, a lot of impatience. We strapped a GoPro to the hood and drove through some of the worst areas. Belvedere Road, Palm Beach Lakes Boulevard. You see this SUV blow right through the light. Over on Okeechobee Boulevard, we saw cars cornering each other. Another car almost hit our photographer as he used the crosswalk. All it is, is it's just a little bit of courtesy, you know, and just and, and a little bit of patience. West Palm Beach police are patrolling as many intersections as they can. There's so many intersections throughout the county that, that, are, that are in this condition. And we just urge everyone to please just try just slow down just a little bit. Like most drivers, Vincent Williams told me he had a close call. Uh, one lady didn't actually didn't stop at all going through the traffic light. And she, she probably was so used to just that light being green. She wasn't paying attention. For now, he's decided to stay off the road until the coast clears. So if you can, just try to remain home and just be patient. We'll be back to normal in no time, guys. Now, West Palm Beach police told me they have not issued any direct citations yet. They're just making sure that everybody gets through these intersections safely. Again, treat any traffic light that is out like a four way stop. Look both ways and be courteous to other drivers. Of course, it'll take a few more days before power is restored, not just to Palm Beach County, but several other counties throughout our area. Live in West Palm Beach, I'm Alana Quillen for the now South Florida.